Okay, in today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to export HTML from Canva. There are a couple of different options that you can use, and I'll show you two of them that I think are the most useful in our context. So what do you first do? We go for a template that we're going to use just to have some HTML to work with. We are looking at the templates and search for website. Now we're going to see a lot of nice designs that we can use. I choose this one. Doesn't really matter what it is. Now I can customize this template as always. I hit customize this template and it will open up the website for me in Canva. So I can change things that I want colors, text and everything and all of that. Let's say you are a designer and you help people to design the home. And this is basically a company website that you can use. It's a very cool, slick, nice one page design, which is very modern and very much what you do today. You would obviously change the photos. You would change what like your portfolio, your testimonials you would change all that and what clients you work with. And this works for every yeah, business. Basically any business can use these kinds of templates. So we are up here. What we do now is we're going to share, hit share, and then go to more, see all. And now we can either use the embed code, which it's now, it's now generated, which also means that the, the code is live. So anyone who has the code can see the, the embed embedding. I don't know what's going on here. I have to hit embed again. It's working some more. Now I have an embed link. I can use probably this link. Let me see and see what comes up here, right? This is basically a website, but on the Canva domain. And what it is, is more or less a online presentation, which is actually, to be honest, not that, that bad. If you just want to be very, very quick and just put something together, if you have an idea or something like that. So this is one way, one way. The other way is, and this is the preferred way. I would say you just publish it. So you want the HTML code. For that, you have to publish the website to a Canva subdomain. So what you do to get HTML code, you hit publish website, then it will ask you for a subdomain you want to have. So this is basically my subdomain is smart and simple design dot my dot Canva dot site. And this is where the page will then be hosted. We have to publish it. And now you have a website live. So you can see here, this is the domain and you have a beautiful, ready designed website already online. So everyone can see it with a home menu, which then jumps hyperlinks, jumps direct to wherever they want to go, testimonials, home. Now you want the code. What you do is you right click or control click on the Mac and save as, and then add, ask you for web page complete. And what this does is not only downloads the code, the HTML code, but also all images and all the CSS, like all the styling for the website as well. So I hit save. It basically downloads it, as you can see. Now in, I prepared this before, so I did a different site before. Now you have the HTML file, as you can see here, HTML. And to show you that this is actually code, I can open this with my text editor. And as you can see here, this is HTML code. Now you have the code and you can basically put this on your own domain. Or of course, you can also buy a domain and directly export it to your own domain, which you can do here, publish website, and then get a new domain, bring your domain. This can only be done if you have a, a pro plan or you can buy a domain from them directly, but you have to upgrade to Canva Pro, but then it automatically exports it to your newly bought or already the domain that you already have. But you have the code here. You have all the CSS files that are downloaded with it. Now you have a developer or someone who works with you will work with. He can basically upload it. And what you can see here, if I embed this code that I have here, I should be able to see the website without the CSS. This is why it looks weird, right? So this is all the HTML without the pictures, without the colors, without the formatting, because CSS is not, not there. Okay. This is how you get HTML from 
Canva.